Welcome back, this is Jeff Byers, and we're going to continue with Module 1 for uh, UV mapping, um, our modular assets. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, texel density and what is it. So basic, basically, texel density stands for text, texture element and is the fundamental unit of texture space. So if I take this object, which is already UV mapped because it's just a regular cube, and we can click on UV Texture Editor, you can see that we have our UVs. Now I can go into UV Texture Editor and click on the uh, UV uh, Texel Density map that comes with Maya. So. Um, all right, so texel density um, isn't like a pixel. In fact, uh, texel density is kind of like a container that holds pixels, if you will. So basically, 3D objects um, are represented by texels in the same way images are represented by pixels. All right, so for example, in a texture, the smallest unit is one pixel. Uh, with UV mapping, the smallest unit is whatever because you can um, basically tile a texture or scale the UV shell. So um, if I wanted to, I can right click over this and go to UV shell, click on it, and I can scale this up or down and tile it. You can see that I'm tiling now. Okay? So it's not the same as a pixel. So uh, I know it's confusing. But uh, texel density is important to stay consistent throughout um, your texture mapping. So you kind of have to set this up to the texel density that you are wanting to create. So basically, if you set up a texel density for this large cube to be something like this, let's turn that off. You can see that now it fits in within, within the UV space that it's it's really important that we have the texel density once you set your largest object um, this is what I usually do for a scene so your largest object in your scene will you'll set that texel density and and that's the nice thing about modular system is that you, hopefully you don't have anything super big in your scene because uh, that could be a problem with texel density we, we, we wouldn't be able to uh, keep it the same so let's say we have a huge building like a skyscraper and the model is just one piece that would be impossible to do the texel density correct correctly so where do I find texel density um, so let's get uh, UV mapping more uh, objects and we'll get right to back to it so I'm going to move this out of the screen so I can get to other things All right, so I got everything in layers. Um, we'll say the texel density is set for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off, and let's turn on the next object. Okay. Now the next object, you can see that the texel density is all jacked up. So that means that it is, <coughs> excuse me. That means that the texel density looks okay right here, but the it looks like the UV maps are not, uh, they're compressed right in these areas here. So, so what I would, what I would have to do to create a texel density that would work for this and match the other one is I've got to UV map it. So I'm going to go to UVs, go down to automatic mapping, I reset the settings and cl click on automat automatic mapping. So I'm going to right click over this. Okay. So now you can see that it is it looks good. All right. So um, texel density is off though. Okay. And th let me explain why it's off. So let's go in here and go to object mode. And make sure that's in object mode. And we're going to move it over. To the side. All right, so let's bring up back up the uh, uh, the big the large cube. Okay, so you can see that the texel density 
um, they're not the same. Okay, let me move that closer to the object. There we go. So this is what I'm talking about. Texel density is different. So um, how do we find that out? And uh, basically, you can see it. Uh, Texel density is uh, more compact than this one, and this one's larger. Um, which one has the best Texel density? Um, let's go ahead and go in here. I didn't want to do that. So let me get that back out again. All right, so. All right, so under transform, scroll down, and we have Texel density here. So um, let's click on the object that we'd like to have everything follow, that Texel density there. And what we want to do under Texel density, okay, click on get. All right, so the get is 15.9, okay. Now if I click on this guy right here and get and go ahead and click on get it's a lot higher so the texel density much is much more dense here and uh, basically that really won't work because we want to take the largest object and be able to fit it within the UV space okay that's important okay we could take this and we could uh, scale it it wouldn't hurt anything so if I click on UV shell and I want to scale that I can do that and scale it up okay and and compact it okay so the thing is it would just it would go over the UVs um, if you want to continue if you want to pack things perfectly within a UV you uh, 0 to 1 then you'll need to keep that back where it was but I could get the I could get this um, up there to 30 okay now there's an easier way to do this okay so there's no guesswork right so what you do let's say I want to match these two guys up here so let's go to object mode this is how you do it you can match them up and you just pick on the one that you want to grab so let's pick on let's go back get that back where it was so pick on pick on the object that you would like to have the texel density and have everything follow it you will go into get okay it's really easy it's one button and you click on the other object and you go in and you set okay now all of a sudden now the texel density of these two are exactly the same okay fantastic right so this is super important to be consistent throughout all your objects so basically what I would do is to lay out all the UVs of all the objects that you're gonna have or just make sure that your texel density will always stay the same meaning that it'll be 15.9064 so if I click on that guy and I go into here and let's just say we get this out of the way get this out of the way um, let's say we get rid of that and let's get this back where it should be and that texel density is good on that one so I'm going to go to the next one and now all that these are all cubes so this is going to be super easy to do so I'm going to go in here and UV automatic map it and then all I have to do is set the texel density so I'm going to go ahead and set it and there it is so that's my texel density and I'll be able to do that for all the objects so I'm gonna just kind of make this a little bit smaller and zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on here okay so these are this is my texel density okay so I just continue let's move that over here and I'll just continue down the line with my character or with my objects so the next one here it's like that go to UV map automatic map and set the texel density to that and you can see how easy this is now so once the texel density is all done um, I continue to go through this and make sure I do a UV map for every single one of them okay and 
Act object mode. All right, one last one. Automatic map and text density and set. There we go. So now I've got all the text texel densities all set up. So I'm going to turn off um, the map, the checkerboard, and you can see that we've got a lot of pieces in here now. Um, normally, depending on your object, our texel density could be way, way bigger, you know, but we have a large object in there, okay? Now, here's one of the things, uh, and it, it's going to be a saving grace for us probably, is that um, our objects, I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute so I can, so our objects here um, basically are a lot smaller than the big cube. Okay, so I've kind of got to uh, figure out what I want to do with that big cube. Do I want to share the same texture map? If I don't need to sa uh, save the texture map, I could go um, overlap it, uh, make the texel density a little bit bigger. Uh, we can play around with the texel density and make sure that it's okay. I'm going to do 4096 by 4096 because I'm going to pack all these guys together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back. Let's just get that out of the way. It's already been UV mapped, so we're good to go. So you can actually move all these away from each other. Okay. And let's go ahead and just move them away from each other, so all six. And I'm going to pack all these guys here. These will share. These will all share the same texture. Okay. So what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to pack these. So the whole idea is uh, let's go into UV shell. Let's select everything, and let's go in here. Just make this easy for us. Okay. And we're going to go in here and we are going to go to Arrange and Layout, uh, Orient Shells, um, I think they're all oriented properly, and let's click on Layout. There we go. Alright, so the shells are all laid out. Now that's what I, uh, I really don't want, I mean we're all going to save, uh, we're going to share the same texture map, that's okay. But the idea here is that we have the same texel density and I'm not sure if we do or not so I'm gonna select all these guys again I'm gonna click on set okay you can see that what it did was it it basically arranged the UV sets and uh, gave me that 15.9009064 alright so the problem with this okay is that um, the cube I could probably get a little more out of if I broke if I broke them up right so if I UV map this one so if I pull these out for a second like that okay and I take this guy right here and I select it and I go to UV and I go to automatic and, and, and map that up and and get you can see that I just raised that to 21.0867 which is great Okay, so what I'm going to do, since this is going to be separate anyway, and we've got uh, 90 degree angles on it, we can have, we can definitely have um, seams there. It's not going to be a problem. Um, let's go back in object mode. So what I can do now is I can go back in here, select these guys together as as objects. Okay and go in and go to UV shell and select everything and move it back okay All right and um, I can even move it out because because I'll pack it in again we're gonna go ahead and, and set this okay now we're still gonna have I can set it and I can pack this myself if I want to okay uh, turn this grid snap off or I can have Maya do it but keep the same proportions, the texel density. So if I go in and click on uh, layout, notice that it will always try to pack the shell up exactly no matter what you have set for texel density. So you just got to remember that. So if I, if I go in get, it's going to be way higher. 
So let me, let me go back. All right, so textile density is correct on here. Um, let's go in here. Yeah, that's it's correct, I think. Um, yeah, get. And, um, and then we'll set this. And I think they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. All right, so we're good. So uh, I'm going to go back and show you how to lay out the UVs. I spent a little more time than I wanted to, and I'm kind of over my 15 minutes with the video to be able to get it up on YouTube. So um, we'll catch you in, in part uh, three.